Hello guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bahja. If this is your first time seeing my face, then welcome to the channel. And if you are coming back, then it's always a pleasure to have you here with me. I actually was not planning on filming today. Today is Saturday, September 30th, and I was not planning on filming today at all. It wasn't a part of my agenda nothing but i was at the gym this morning i was on the treadmill and i was kind of reflecting on my month i was like how did september go for me just kind of thinking about you know all the progress that i've made all the things that i've learned and it i was like i need to sit down and make this video today i really was like i have to get in front of the camera and film this today because i know what it feels like to constantly start over and say okay this time i'm gonna stick to my plan and then fail and then say this time i'm gonna stick to my plan and then give up and then try again and again and again and again and again until i felt like the entire year was me starting at the beginning and i hate that feeling it is the worst ever if you haven't yet began moving towards your goal today the day that you guys are seeing this video it is going to be september 1st and we are in the last quarter of the year if you have yet to move towards your goals if you have constantly spent the entire year starting over and feeling like you're procrastinating or that you're lazy or that you never actually get anywhere with your goals then i'm gonna help you break that cycle today i'm gonna give you everything you need to break that cycle because i've been there time and time again if you watch this video and you incorporate the things that i tell you to incorporate into your life I'm telling you, you're gonna make more progress during October than you have all year. So you know what? Pull out your notes today, pull out your notebooks, whatever it is, because we're gonna cover a lot. If you're in this cycle of starting over again and again, or saying, okay, I'm gonna start this day, I'm gonna start this day, I'm gonna start again, why do you keep starting over? Why do you keep trying again on Monday or trying again the next month or the next year? What is that? It's because you have a desire and you know you can do better. You want to move towards better. You want to change something about your life. And that desire is never going to go away. It is going to keep itching the back of your throat is going to be on your back and that's why you constantly try again and again and again even if you do keep giving up you get back up and you're like okay i'm gonna try this again i'm gonna try this again because there is something in you that knows that you can do better you have a vision and you want to move towards something better even if that vision isn't 100 clear when i when i started my weight loss journey before the last time where i really really stuck to it i have tried time and time again to lose the weight i've started again i've started again i've started again year after year after year month after month after month and i was like you know what i finally have I'm, I'm done i'm done i hated starting over more than anything in the world and of course there's nothing wrong with starting over but to not have enough discipline to even continue going and to have to constantly be in this cycle it feels like you're on this hamster wheel constantly trying again and starting over i hated that feeling I felt disgusted with that feeling of defeat every single month of that feeling of oh my goodness another year and I'm putting this on my board again my vision board I'm another year and I'm telling myself I'm gonna do it this time subconsciously there was something in me that knew I would give up again like I was like okay we're gonna try this again but I knew that I was gonna give up again and so I never even gave it my 100 I never gave it my all I always had this belief because of the evidence that I had because I knew that I gave up last year and the month before and the month before and i'm starting over for the millionth time there's something in me that always knew i know like i know myself i know myself i'm not going to be able to do it again this time until i decided that i never wanted to feel that feeling again that feeling of defeat that feeling of oh i have to start over again i never wanted to feel that again i was so distressed disturbed with that emotion and so in pain over that emotion that I was like I don't want to feel that emotion again and that is what gave me the motivation to start again and actually win that time what I did was I started to pay attention and to be observant of those moments where I would be like okay f it I give up it's not that I'm just not making any progress it was I had too many of those, oh, okay, I'll start again on Monday moments. You know what I mean? It was the consistency of that feeling of, oh, I'm never going to get there anyway. I know myself. That kept me stuck. That kept me from making progress in my weight loss. I started to pay attention to those moments because I knew they were the cause of me not getting where I wanted to be. And so I started to be observant. What am I thinking about in that moment? How am I feeling in that moment? What is triggering me? What in my environment is triggering me? When 
then I decide, okay, F it. I'm just, I give up. And even now with YouTube and with content creation, all of that, I know myself and I'm a lot smarter when it comes to my emotions i know that there's a resistance i know that there's a friction of me putting myself out there on youtube of committing to the content that i promised i would make and the content that i promised you guys i would make there is a resistance i have moments where i feel like okay what if this is a waste of time what if i put in all this effort and it doesn't work out and there are those moments before before i used to give in to those moments and that's why i was very inconsistent because I gave into those moments of, okay, I don't feel like I'm good enough or I don't feel like this is gonna be worth it. Until this day, I have that feeling at times. That feeling used to be so powerful and so strong that I would give in and say, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna do it and I would give up but now I'm able to observe that feeling like a passing cloud I'm like I know this feeling I know that this feeling will come up anytime I try to do something new anytime I try to film anytime I try sometimes it'll come up this feeling will come up but I know that it will come and it will pass and I did not let it get to me I simply observed it the feeling didn't go away right away the feeling didn't feel nice it's not a good feeling to feel like oh what if this is a waste of time however I know that that feeling comes and it goes. So I just observed it as if it was a passing cloud. And you know what? It always passed. And I feel myself getting excited and motivated to create content. So now I know better. And I want you guys to become familiar with that as well. And I will teach you guys in this video how to overcome that. Because it's not that you're lazy. It's not that you're unproductive. It's not that you don't have motivation. You're nothing less than the other person who was able to do it. You're no less than that person that you watch who you're like oh my goodness this person is so motivated because that person goes through the same thing that person has those same emotions and those same feelings of feeling down sometimes feeling unmotivated feeling unproductive the reality is you're stuck and there is a block because of certain beliefs that you have about yourself and about the world the reality is when you decide to change something there will always be resistance there will always Always be fear and anxiety that comes with that new thing because it is a place that you are unfamiliar with it is a new thing that doesn't yet make sense to you change is difficult and you're going against the grain you're going against what you've always known and so you have to become observant and familiar with your emotions because it is those emotions that will either keep you back or move you forward okay so let's start at the very beginning it's always Bahja I don't have a vision i don't know what i want i don't know where to begin i don't know where to start i have an entire vision on how to design your promise and i'll link it down below but i'm going to quickly go over all of the simple steps that you need to take in order for you to create your vision because a vision is what pulls you a vision is what's going to keep you going a vision is what's going to pick you up in those moments where you feel defeated and you feel like okay what if i'm not enough what if i'm not good enough what if you know things don't work out it's that vision that's going to keep you you moving and so you have to have a crystal clear direction and a vision and something that pulls you your vision is everything and without a desire there's no reason for you to really take action on anything there's no reason for you to do anything your upbringing and the way that you were raised and the experiences that you've had in your life has everything to do with your beliefs and the things that keep you stuck and the keep things that might be holding you back it could even hold you back from imagining something better for yourself oh this never happens to someone like me i can never be that person because of my race or religion or culture or ethnicity i can never be that person this only happens for those types of people those ideas are subconsciously without you even realizing holding you back from even imagining from opening up your imagination and using it to build something better for yourself to envision something better for yourself to dream and i know a lot of people who were never even allowed to dream big or have any desires or it was seen as selfish or it was seen as you know doing too much or unrealistic or bad and all of that and so we all have these limiting beliefs we all have these things that hold us back and that's okay okay that is going to be your starting point you are going to prove to yourself that you are capable 
capable. You're going to build a portfolio for yourself of evidence of why you are capable by taking small steps and building your confidence. That way later you can do bigger things, that you can dream bigger, that you can take on bigger risks and bigger goals and believe that you are someone who is worthy. That is how your evolution begins. <laughs> and you need to get the ball rolling, okay? You just need to get the ball rolling and later on in the future, you'll dream bigger and go after bigger things and, you know, seek for the next thing because that's all we are. That's that's all we do. And of course, in those moments, you're gonna have limiting beliefs. You're gonna have things that hold you back. You're gonna have all these things come up, but you need to really start practicing how to work with that and how to get over those now by starting small. So what I recommend is if you don't know where to start or where to begin, pick four areas of your life. Usually it's my body, my home, my relationships, and my career, or whatever four areas of your life you think is the most important and just write down how can you better those areas in your life in which ways or you can just sit down and write a list of what can I do right now to better my life doesn't matter but I recommend making those four sections of areas of your life where you could do better hello what? sorry guys so yeah four areas of your life where you can improve and i recommend doing this these exercises when you're in a good mood when you're hopeful when you are in a place of like you're you're kind of happy okay it's a good day you're joyful you're excited you're um hopeful okay don't do it when you're mad or you feel down or you feel bad about yourself it's not it's not the time to do it okay so pick four areas of your life how can you improve those four areas what would you like those four areas of your life to look like you can also practice scripting okay this is something that i teach in rewrite your story it's something that i have in both of both my notion template and my becoming her workbook it is literally what started it all for me is doing this scripting where basically you will sit down and you will write about your desired self your best self your the the dream self that you want to be you're gonna write down as if this is the present tense and you're gonna write it in a third person so i would write behja is this this that what does behja look like what does behja do for work how do other how do other people view behja what does behja's daily routine look like literally in detail write what the dream person that you want to be looks like in third person present tense or as if it already happened this is a good way of kind of understanding where it is that you want to go and who it is that you want to be I promise you you know okay you know if you take a moment to sit down even if it's so cringy and weird and it's the little things like oh Behja is someone who dresses well Behja is someone who everyone trusts when Behja walks in a room she lights up a room whatever it is Behja carries herself in confidence Behja is a successful entrepreneur whatever it is that you want i promise you you know you know what it is and write it all down in detail what do her relationships look like who does she hang out with what do her weekends look like how does she act and carry herself how does she treat other people how do other people view her write it all down that is your starting point that is what you truly want and who you want to be and of course certain things are going to change along the way as you evolve as you learn you're not going to always want the same thing but it is your starting point another thing that you can do if you're not if you don't feel like you're in a place where you can really dream that big or any of that create an anti-vision and what that is is you kind of write down what you don't want and it's so easy for us to do that it's actually hilarious it's so easy for us to write down the things that we don't want the things that we don't want to experience the person that we don't want to be how we don't want to come off and so you can create this anti-vision of everything that you don't want your life to look like and that can be your starting point as well and then last but not least you want to give yourself 12 months every 12 months it's like we're flipping a chapter okay and then every month it's like we're going we have sections and those are going to be our months so every year and of course you want to give yourself some time your goals and your visions are going to take time so you're going to do 12 month goal setting type of thing and actually let me put it pull it up i have a um template on notion that can help you do this literally look how at the top it says my goals um and so 12 month goals you want to write down what are 10 goals you would like to achieve in the next 12 months so somewhere 
on your in your journal or if you want to get the notion template it's going to be linked in my description but you just want to write down 10 goals that you want to reach in the next 12 months and this can be in any area of your life and go as big as you want honestly nothing is impossible once you do that you want to look over the list and say if i had a magic wand and i could wave it and i can have one of these things manifest into my reality in the next 24 hours what is it going to be and that is going to be your one big goal okay now all those goals matter those little goals but we're going to focus on that one big goal and when you put your focus on that one big goal and you strive towards that one big goal usually you're going to be able to achieve all of your little goals as well and then next you want to create steps to that goal okay make a list minimum is 20 write down 20 things minimum and you can definitely do more of ways that you can reach that one big goal anything whether it's i'm gonna read a book on freelancing i'm gonna you know start this business i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that write down every possible idea that comes to mind and you really want to pick your brain when you're doing that i learned this technique from brian tracy you guys can google this technique on um, or YouTube it or whatever and you can watch him talk about it but when you do that those are gonna serve as your mini goals okay every month you're gonna be like okay so this month I'm gonna do one thing to move towards my one big goal and whatever that one thing is you're gonna incorporate it into your month okay and then every single month starting today because you guys are seeing this on September 1st this is what you're gonna do you're gonna set an intention with your heart okay also if you guys want you guys can, like i said you guys can get the notion template because all of these things are in there you just have to go in there fill it out and then every month you get to there's a template on there for every single month set your intention set your goals do all of that create your routine if you guys want that it's going to be linked in the description however you want to set an intention with your heart and really sit down and say what do i want this month to look like what is going to be my mission for this month how do i want to feel this month and then you're going to create a vision board okay of course like with your 12 month goals if you guys haven't already done that in january 1st you want to create your 12 month vision board and on there you're going to put all of the things that you want to achieve like you could do this on pinterest or you can do it as a physical board i have my physical board here that i do yearly and then i have my monthly vision boards that i do on pinterest and so you want to create that vision board for your 12 month goals put all of the pictures that represent the goals that you want to reach you want to have photos that kind of create a feeling inside of you a feeling of excitement a feeling of motivation and inspiration okay you want it to be a positive feeling for every month you're going to do the same thing go on pinterest it doesn't have to be a huge board i literally have like 10 to 15 pins on my thing it can be outfits i want to wear or it could be the vibe that i want this october to look like so i can put pictures of you know someone baking or candles lit and chill vibes or whatever it is put that on there like that is what you want to do how do you want your month to feel what do you want it to look like what are some goals that you want to hit what are some habits you want to incorporate build a vision board and put it somewhere you can see it. I have mine on my Notion template, which I open every single morning, or you can put it as your lock screen or your home screen or whatever it is, wherever you want. Or if you go on Pinterest daily, you can open your Pinterest and look at your vision board on there. And then you wanna ask yourself in all four of those areas that we talked about that you wanna improve, what are small things that you can start to incorporate into your month, small habits, small changes that you can make in order for you to move towards that goal or in order for you to hit that goal and then of course incorporating your incorporating your one big goal mission and then of course incorporating your one big goal mission into your month you need to be stubborn okay you need to be stubborn with your goal i'm gonna get there point blank period you want to be stubborn with the things that you do rest in that knowing that that goal is already yours it's already yours. I promise you, if you can imagine it and you can picture it in your head, it already exists. There is a version of you that has that thing. Be stubborn, be serious about your goals and embody the person who already has it. Embody 
it by resting in that knowing that it is already yours because if you are that person who's already achieved the goal right you know how we say like act as if you already achieved the goal if you are the person who's already achieved that goal you wouldn't be acting it would be natural it would come naturally and be observant because you will have opportunities if you set an intention with your heart you will have ideas that come to you you'll have opportunities you will start to notice these synchronicities of you just thinking oh you know i could really use this to help me towards my goal and that thing just appearing into your life make it attractive okay make your goals attractive make it attractive by setting a vibe you know what i mean set a vibe with it that's why i love making vision boards so much is because the aesthetics are just so beautiful to me looking at it it makes me happy and it it makes my goals attractive i'm like oh i can be that girl i can be that person okay make it attractive make it fun make it interesting and then you want to also reflect every day every day ask yourself especially if you're not yet familiar with your own self and of course as we evolve we're gonna continue to learn more about ourselves but if you're just now starting like reflect every single day how did i feel today what are some things i noticed about myself today what are some limiting beliefs that came up today when i was triggered earlier what was that about reflect every single day that will come in clutch in the future i promise and then document your journey that is something that i'm doing right now with my look good feel good era and the reason why i started about four months ago was because i felt like i can really push harder i was like uh oh the end of the year is coming and i've yet to push harder you know what i mean i felt like i could push harder i felt like i can move towards my goals a lot more and so i started my look good feel good era i started documenting it on tiktok and now i'm documenting it on youtube so if you guys want to check out my series i post weekly vlogs of me filming every single day until january 1st and sharing it with you guys that way i just have that motivation and i can hold myself accountable by documenting it and by making it attractive i feel like me filming and filming my day and kind of editing it in a beautiful way kind of makes me want to do the work it makes me want to go to the gym it makes me want to do the hard things okay so let's go back to those moments where you feel like giving up okay starting something new is difficult it is hard it is something that you're not used to you're going against the grain there's going to be resistance and so in those moments where you feel like giving up what should we do number one do not let yourself dwell in that emotion for too long do not let yourself sit in that emotion for too long and don't you know put too much focus on it like i said it is a passing cloud it is an emotion that will come and it will go so allow it to exist allow it to be there when you feed the fire when by focusing on it and you put your attention on it that emotion is gonna grow you're gonna open up this new flood of emotions and thoughts that come to your mind and that will continue to destroy you and we've all experienced this where we'll have one negative thought and then we'll feel down and then we'll put so much effort we'll put so much attention on the fact that i'm feeling down that now this entire flood like i feel like i'm drowning in just thoughts that just will not stop of negative emotions that continue to make me feel down and so when you notice that you're feeling down and you had a thought or an emotion or whatever and you feel down just observe it allow yourself to feel down allow yourself to feel you know any type of way but don't put too much effort into it don't put too much of your attention into it and try to make yourself feel better reflection always helps me journaling it out talking to myself literally journaling to myself i have this video that i'm gonna link down below where i share some journal entries that i wrote of me talking to myself and it always makes me feel better because i'm like okay Bahja, you are feeling down because of xyz but look at all that you've done all that you've become and it just really helps or just like journaling out what is your trigger and why it triggered you and why that emotion made you feel that way and ending off on a good note and writing to yourself from your highest self and so write to yourself as that girl who already has all the things that you hope for because she is rooting for you more than you think okay don't let yourself dwell in it don't let yourself drown in it and sometimes it can be addicting that's why people get so stuck in negative emotions is because you can you can become comfortable in that emotion your comfort zone can be that miserable feeling of 
I don't feel good enough. And that's your new comfort zone. You feel comfortable there. You would rather be there than anywhere else. And so pull yourself out as fast as you can. Okay, two is remind yourself of your vision. This is why that scripting is so important and that vision and that holding on to your reason and your why. Why do I want to be that person is so important in those moments of wanting to give up. This is what I do for my brand and my social media. And anytime I feel down, I'm like, okay, well, Behja, remember that vision of how you want to inspire and how you want to help people and that's what keeps me going literally i promise you that's what's been keeping me going and the only thing that keeps me going is that vision that i have set for myself three is remind yourself of your anti-vision okay remember what you don't want <laughs> remind yourself of what you don't want i remember when i was on my weight loss journey i was like okay well Behja, remember that feeling yeah remember that feeling of having to start again remember that feeling of just not being comfortable in your body you don't want that feeling you don't want that feeling it's not a nice feeling you're familiar with that feeling and now you want something new you want something better so i would keep it pushing that would keep me going and it still does till this day three is create an environment for yourself where that change is normal where that change is the norm that thing that you're doing is normal or create an environment that is filled with people who have already gotten to where you want to be and if that's not your physical environment your social media okay follow people who inspire you follow people who already are where you want to be follow people who are on the same vibe and on the same mission as you and if following those people makes you feel any type of way like let's say we're human it's normal to get jealous sometimes but if it makes you feel jealous and it makes you feel envious and it puts you down and it makes this negative creates this negative feeling in you and emotion in you you have to realize that you are not aligned with your vision this is a sign that you have to do inner work because you're too focused on the lack of that thing that seeing other people who have it make you makes you feel down and so you have to really do that inner work but create an environment where people are also striving towards the same thing. Um, one that motivates you and that inspires you and that makes you feel good. When I started my weight loss journey, I had this entire Instagram account that was dedicated to just fitness. I would watch these people's stories. I would see that they were eating healthy and they were eating clean and that would make me feel good. That would make me wanna do the same thing. And lastly, you really have to hold yourself accountable. This is your life. Do not joke or it's nothing to joke about and it's nothing to laugh about. Hold yourself responsible. It is nobody's fault other than your own, okay? And the moment that you do that and the moment that you stop blaming other people is when you're really gonna be able to tap into your potential. I promise you it's no one's fault but your own. So this October, if you reach the end of the month still feeling the same way that you've been feeling, being the same person that you've been feeling, then you have to do something different. That's it, that's all. Being where you are, has to suck it has to get stale constantly just wanting more but not being able to reach it it gets so lame change is also difficult change is hard but i would choose that over being stuck and being miserable stop trying to do more than you are meant to do okay you cannot control the outcome and so if you just rest in that knowing of i'm gonna get there and even resting in that takes so much strength it takes so much work and it takes so much practice your vision is yours your dream is yours okay and you can absolutely get there you have to trust that that is going to be yours instead of fighting and trying to make things happen and trying to force things to happen relax and remind yourself that this is mine and i'm gonna get there and trust that it is already yours trust that it exists trust that it's yours and rest in that and you will start to see doors open you'll start to see opportunities around rise and continue to be observant okay the more observant you are the more you'll realize how many blessings are actually in your life the more content you're going to become the more grateful you're going to become and when you express gratitude you'll just be a lot more happier and you'll be a lot more joyful and you'll be able to create even better for yourself and you'll be able to focus on the good things in your life and so that is all that i have for you guys today thank you so much for being here i hope this video was helpful happy october i cannot believe it's already october it's absolutely bizarre but i'm rooting for you guys comment down below if you have any more ideas any more things and if you found this helpful share it with other people who you also think will find it helpful i love you so much and i hope to see you next time